Oticon. We are always looking for ways to understand more about hearing loss and the brain. With a new EEG test method, we can actually see how sounds are represented inside the brain. For people with hearing loss, situations like these are very difficult, and it only gets harder when people are talking at the same time. This is because hearing loss degrades a person's ability to perform selective attention. Selective attention is our brain's natural ability to organize and prioritize sounds. It enables us to focus, suppress noise, and switch our attention when necessary. And poor selective attention can radically affect our social lives. For the first time in the industry, we can measure selective attention by using a groundbreaking EEG test. This new test mimics the restaurant situation. It was designed specifically to gain deeper insight into the biggest challenge faced by people with hearing loss, namely following conversations in a noisy environment. The loudspeakers in front represent two people talking at the same time, while four loudspeakers behind create babble noise. The test person has to focus on one of the speakers in front and ignore the other while suppressing the babble noise. Meanwhile, an EEG cap records the brain's activity in response to the speech and noise. Afterwards, the test person answers questions to check if they understood what was said. In this way, we can test two hearing aids against each other or assess a specific hearing aid feature. To analyze the recordings, we separate the auditory EEG data. The waves recorded in the brain follow the envelope of the speech. This means we can compare the EEG signals with the envelope of the actual acoustic signal from the loudspeakers. A computer algorithm sums and averages the data into the three different sound sources, the speaker in focus, the ignored speaker, and the babble noise. It then calculates the correlation between the EEG data and each sound source. The strength of the EEG signals is displayed as a bar chart to give us an image of how well the test persons can organize the sounds. This allows us to see how well the brain has amplified the speaker in focus, ignored the other speaker, and reduced the babble noise. When speech stands out clearly, it's easier to understand the person in focus and easier to distinguish other people's voices. This makes it easier to switch attention so people are more in control. They can follow the conversations they choose and actively take part in life again. This test has been developed by independent research institutions with Eric Solm as a leading partner. And it goes above and beyond what we have seen in the industry before. It doesn't just measure the brain activity, it creates an image of how sounds are represented and processed by the brain. It furthermore shows how the brain performs selective attention. Where previous tests only had one person talking, this test really challenges the brain with a demanding conversation where two people talk at the same time. We are always working on new research to take brain hearing to even greater heights. It's a journey of constant discovery. To liberate people from hearing loss takes insights into how the brain works and how people live their lives.